Hey, it's great to see you. Great to see you. I love your shirt, of Alan Rickman. It's Die Hard, right? Oh my God, that's amazing. God. I got a lot of questions for you and I have like four minutes on the Okay, F. go. Here we go. I um, have to start with this one. Try to be less talkative, go. Uh, are you in Deadpool 3 and if not, why? No, I don't know. Okay. I'm very Ryan doesn't like me? I don't know. I don't think that's the reason. I don't know. Two, what is it like to get on- Maybe. <laughs> Uh, let me start being serious. Uh, this yeah. movie's incredible, Thanks. and the move, the first movie's incredible. What is it like when Denise calls you on the phone and says, listen, I want you to be part of Dune, mm -hmm. but we're actually going to get on a spaceship and fly to Arrakis to film this because I can't be convinced you like, didn't fly to, literally. to the like, other side of the galaxy. That's how it felt. I mean, that's how it felt. When you're surrounded by the hotel that we were staying in, we were surrounded by 100 kilometers of nothing but sand. There was no village. There was no place you could drive to. Two and a half hours, you could get to Abu Dhabi. So when you're out in the middle, which I love that he created that kind of practicality, because I do think it lends to the movie. I think it lends to the kind of gruffness of what I was doing in it, at least. Um, I love it personally, you know? But yeah, it felt like you were on Arrakis. Yes, it did, uh, Steve. My, my biggest complaint of the movie, and I told this to Denis, is that it's not four hours. Mm. I, I mean, I would have been okay with another hour. Yeah. So in the first, in both movies, um, did you end up with a deleted scene or two that you were sad didn't make the final cut? Do you know the answer and you're just setting me up? No, I don't know. Denis told me there's deleted scenes that I'll never see. So there's, a delete, there's definitely a deleted Balisette scene that he gave me the song the night before, yeah. and I did that. Yeah. So I sang that in front of 30 guys, or Momoa and all those, that whole group. But it didn't work. There was tonally, it was wrong, and then we talked about it. He was like, I don't think I'm gonna use it. And I was like, that's okay, you know. It, but given that we were doing two movies for one book, it gave you the space to be able to fit something else in, and we found the place, and I think it's the great way to introduce, reintroduce, this character who's become like this desert rat and he's long hair and he's like angry and he's heartbroken and he hates where he is and all that. I think it's a great way to reintroduce him, which wasn't necessarily planned. We were doing the song, I was doing the song with hands and then we showed up on set and we like reconfigured because we were like, this is the way to reveal him and instead of what Denis had planned. When you saw the shooting schedule for movie two, <sighs> Right. When you saw it, what was the day that you had circled in terms of, <laughs> in terms of, I'm, I'm, I got like a minute left. He's like, I know, <laughs> right. I know. So, it sucks, man. Uh, Stay here for 10 minutes. Yeah, I, I like that plan. When yeah. you saw the shooting schedule, what was the day you had circled in terms of, I cannot wait to film this or, oh my God, we have to film this? The sword fight, because I, it was, a, we wanted to do it in one. Denis wanted to do it in one and I'm 55. And doing that when you're 25, you, your recovery is quick. But doing that when you're 55, I thought I was 25 in my head and then I started rehearsing it and I realized that it was gonna be a longer process. But in my panic, I pulled it off. I think we, we were more than ready when we finally did it. We did it in one shot, even though there were three different angles. And uh, I'm proud of that scene. Uh, yeah. Terrified. And you and you should be. Uh, you know that I not terrifying. I was terrified, sure. but it became terrifying. So while I have you, I'm a fan of a certain Prime Video show that you do uh, called Outer Range. Yeah. And so when will I be seeing season two? May. What can you tease about season two and how it compares to the first season? This is what I'll say: is that I was in a marketing meeting two days ago. We saw a couple of teasers for the entire season and because I directed one of the episodes and I was very happy to do that. And that was a very exciting process for me. Which episode? Six. Okay. We have seven episodes and um, it looks like I wanted it to look the first season. It looks incredible. And I'm very, very happy with it. Not that I was totally disappointed with the first season. I just felt like we were finding ourselves and I feel like we found ourselves now. One of the things that season one does is it introduces some sci-fi stuff in, yeah. in the mystery. Yeah. How does season, in, with season two, is there more of the sci-fi mystery or is it like, what can you, you know I think I, mean? I think the character development is more and I think you get answers for the sci-fi mystery that was created. Not necessarily all the answers, sure. but you get you get destinations. I'll put, I'll put it that way, you on, get destinations. On that note, I gotta go. I look forward to talking to you about it. Thanks, man. And seriously, congrats on this movie. Thank you, bro.